I'm fine for that. How would yourself? Yeah, good. The Alpine Rally is the best rally in Australia. Uh, many people think so. I think it's, 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 a, it's a very good one. Great location. And, and it tests us all out. It's great. How many years have been coming up to this event? I first came here in 72 when um, Laird invited me to come up. He was from Melbourne. I was from Sydney. And um, the Snow Mountains High was in the progress of being converted to the road it is now. It was a windy dirt track and it was unsealed. The Yeringabilly village was being uh, abandoned, I suppose is the word, and we were using the timber for the houses for our firewood. And it was much cooler then than it is now. Yeah. So that must have been a hell of a ride up here in those days. Uh, the motorbike gear wasn't as good, the temperature was cold, you froze a lot, the camping gear wasn't as good as today. Um, but challenging and great. <laughs> Looking back and all that, our entry is getting less today. Or well, this year being the 50th, it's going to be probably higher than normal. But typically, I get between 150 or about 150. Um, it's stated that since about 88, when it was up to 1,200. But yeah, the numbers are sort of lower, but consistent. Why is that? Why are numbers getting less, Danny? Oh, I think the types of motorbikes have changed. Whereas back then one motorbike would do many things, whereas these days they're all very, very specialised. So if you buy a, a cafe racer, you don't come here. If you buy a dirt bike, you do. Um, so the, the style of bikes have changed and also people's, I think, interests have changed a bit. Do you reckon you call yourself a die-hard enthusiast? I don't, but some people do. Um, but I'm passionate about what I do and about this. It's great. It's, um, yeah, it's a must-do thing. Yeah, we, a lot of us get called nutters for coming to these sort of things, you know. Why would you want to camp in the cold and ride a motorbike up to some place like this? Because if you look around here, and as your photos will show, that answers the question. Yeah. OK, this is the 50th event, Henning. Will it be your last as the organiser? Last as the organiser, yes. Andrew and Paul are going to take over from this year. I'll support them for a few years if they need to, but I'll, but I'll still come. keep coming. All right. The rally used to be at two places, so uh, is there a chance that we'll alternate a game between Yeringabilly and Brindabellas near Canberra? Uh, never say never. The intent is to do so. The difficulty is finding a place that is easy to do it all in, because you have to organise toilets, firewood and water. Um, so we're looking. I've found a few places. But one place is very good, but very small. Uh, work in right. progress. Just out of interest, this is a really hard question. What would you rate as the best ever rally, Alpine rally ever been to? And what were the best moments? 93 was the last year it snowed, and that was really, really nice. It snowed here, and one time in Brindabella it snowed, and just riding out on the Brindabella Road towards Chimbit over, over Tigers Mountain, they called it, um, with the snow and the quiet, and if you've been in the snow you'll understand. It's... um. Just that, just that beautiful piece getting away from. Always on your BMW? Well, I've had this bike since 74, so the answer is yes. I had an older BMW before, so it's always been on a BMW. Yeah. Yep. Brilliant. Do you think motorcyclists are losing interest in coming to these events? Uh, the older people know, like as you look around here, it's just enticing the young people to, to uh, yeah, address the challenge, I suppose, and get prepared. Years ago you would never see bikes on with trailers. Why are they so popular now? People are getting up. I think it's the older people and they want to carry more junk to the yeah. to the event. Um, and that's fine. Yeah. So on that breath, do you think the Alpine Rally is a challenge? Uh, in either location, yes it is a challenge to just keep warm and dry and cook and carry on. Yeah. But with the dirt road you've also got that advantage of or challenge of, of having to, to survive. Who thought about burning Volkswagen crankcases at rallies? The person you're looking at. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it'll snow during this rally? <laughs> well, it's overcast today, um, but I think not. The weather forecast is um, fine. Yeah. So, look, this is your last rally. What are your what are your last thoughts about this event? How do you feel about it? I don't like asking the feel question, but you must have. What are your thoughts? Well, I, I chose to continue this because adding my vision to my hobby, my interest, and making sure all these people can, can enjoy this. And I do it for them and not for me. Yeah. Um, so if they can continue coming, it'll continue to happen. 
few more questions. You've been a bit of an icon, you know, for this rally for a long time. And I think mm. you've really kept it going really well. Everyone knows you and the Alpine Rally. You're you're part of the rally, the Alpine. So yeah. the people taking over have got a big pair of boots to take on. Okay, well, thank you for that. But I, 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 I try and... Like some some events you go to in life, you just pay your money and you go and you do it and you go home again. I try and make the event, with, give it some purpose and and bring it together by having a talk on Sunday morning, so people feel like they've come and they they feel like, like they belong. Um, so you become a happy family and it and it's great to see that happening and all the banter and stuff. It's great. So uh, what's for lunch, by the way? Um, probably salmon. No, not salmon. Um, Sardines on bread, and then for dinner it's going to be curried sausages. I've seen you cook some fantastic things of these in the past. I remember one rally that even had a bathtub there. Yeah, yep, yeah, and that's over at Brindabella still, but um, a bit of hot water underneath. And yes, the first time I hopped in, I burnt my bum on the <laughs> on the bottom, and a few people threw a few veggies in, a bit more meat to yeah. to uh, yeah. help the brew. But yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah fantastic fun. stuff. Yeah, it is. It's great. Well, it's been fantastic talking, Henny. Cheers, mate. Thank you. And thank you. Hey mate, before it become the rat. Is that your first rally? How many rallies have you been to? 21. 21 Alpine. Alpine. In a row. <laughs> Fantastic. One bike? No. And I rode here on my R100S from Wyala in South Australia. And it was the first time I'd ridden that bike interstate. I just jumped from a 250 to a 1,000. It was a lot of fun, but it was... The big wet one. The wet one was 78, 76, 77, which I went to, and 78, 79, 80. All the other ones are great weekends. But and we rode in along the Snowy Mountains Highway and headed in from Rules Point. We didn't quite make it to the rally that night, but we made it the next morning. The snow stopped us in the dark. The Brindabella Gorge was quite interesting. It was up a mud hill. I never did the Brindabella Alpine Run. I've only done this one. I didn't slide out, but lots of other people went out with mud on the sides of their motorcycles. We had one do that here today. <laughs> yeah. I like the Alpine Rally because it's a challenge. It's uh, For me, it's a long way to get here. I come from Queensland, but also to be here, to camp in these conditions, and and really the harder it is, the better it is. You know, it's. Uh, it's not meant to be easy, but it's it's wonderful to be here and uh, meet all these other bikers with the same sort of passion. I've got some old regalia here from years gone by that if you want to make a donation to the Flying Doctor, take it. More than welcome. Um, the youngest riders, together with the tight-ass older age person, Roddy, um, you care to come forward? I'm 24. I flew back from Amsterdam on Thursday to come to the rally. Um, I've been traveling on super yachts for the last four years and there was no way I was going to miss the 50th. My first Alpine rally was in 2016 and I am riding the same bike I rode then which is a 1972 Bull Taco Alpine. Up. It doesn't seem that long ago that a bloke stood here and delivered some lines about a mob that camped here with bikes 40 years ago. The only thing that's different this time around is the big 5-0. 50 years. So, how many riders of the British are here? And hoggies as well? Italian, Japanese, German, Indian, Korean, China, who have I forgot? Adventure riders abound. You'll probably, if you're really quiet and sneak around, you might find one or two chookies. There's always roadies and some of those Ricky races as well. No dirt here. Now there's two-wheeled armchairs and those three-wheeled things. And I see trailers and campers and all forms of camping gear. I wonder what would the old fellas say? And, I, and this, this is thanks to you because if you didn't come here, we wouldn't be here. So thank you all. Well done. We're going to see you at future Alpine City. Ah, uh, parents' money? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, starting for you.
Yeah. 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 Good time? Oh yeah, all the, all the time. Yeah. Every time's a good time. Yeah. Come again? Yeah, yeah. I come in a uh, place of my old man now. Yeah. So, good. Yeah. Another good rally. I'm always glad when it's over, but it's good fun. <laughs>